Good afternoon guys, it's Tuesday, Western Australia time, 2.30, 21st of March, and it's day 4 of IndiePack. I've just got back home from my ride. Actually, you can check me on Strava, I will put a link in the description box. So yeah, actually we have Christoph uh, still leading, Mike Hall, number 2, number 3, Adam Hunter, Seb Dunn, number 4, and Sarah Hammond, number 5. Uh, as I've said in my previous video, yesterday she was number 8, but she has already dropped Don Chakatris from Ireland, about 40 k's in front of him, and the other guys are about uh, the other guys are Kim Raymakers and Mati Mati Sleeked 1486. They're riding together, I believe. So actually, Sarah Hammond is uh, yeah. I will tell you the numbers of the leaders. So actually, Christoph 1800 k's in, Mike Hall 1680. So basically. Uh, like uh, Christoph is already 120 in front, which is a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, gap, you know. Adam Hunter 1620, uh, 60 kilometers behind Mike Hall, and also Seb Dunn together with him 1616. So they are riding pretty much 4Ks um, uh, away from each other. So yeah, I, I would say Sarah Hammond has to do about 70, 80 Ks to get to the third place. She has to cover this gap, and she is about uh, what's that? About 130 behind Mike Hall. But Christoph, he's just he's just killing it. I mean, man, Mike Hall is getting to an Annalarbor Roadhouse right now. But Christoph has already, I believe, <laughs> busted like maybe a few hours ago. So, yeah. What about the others? Uh, Stefan Strike about uh, 1440 k's in. Mitchell Luke 1427, Kai Edel 1390, Jackie Bernardi 1381. You know these guys are going pretty good because right now, uh, yeah, I would say uh, from the top five, these guys are about uh, about one one fifty away. You know, and they're going pretty much close to each other. So there are lots of contenders and uh, really strong guys. Um, they actually started not that fast, you know, and they were uh, a little bit at the back, but. Mm, as you can see, it's going to be uh, a really good ride. I mean, I hope no one will have an injury in the future. And um, yeah, but I believe Kristoff can actually make it to the finish line. Um, I mean, even <laughs> when you look at him, you can see this guy is so tough. I mean, I mean, I I've seen some footage from Dark Maven. <laughs> and uh, when he was filming uh, Christoph eating and it, w it seemed like Christoph was thinking come on man, <laughs> fuck off you know, uh, because I, I mean it's it's understandable, but Christoph he's actually so, I, I don't know I, I just feel like he's such a tough guy and I mean all these guys are tough but I don't know, I think he might be the winner, <laughs> just my little bit pred of prediction, you know but Mike Hall, mm, the guy said that he's like, Jesse Carlson was um telling Mark in his uh, in interview that Mike Hall has all the records around the world and stuff so it's like still about was that 3500 case to go a little bit more even but yeah it's just amazing so yeah let's uh, let me tell you about the youtubers cycling maven and uh, rhino so what do we got here um was dead. Also, I would like to say this guy, James Rayson, I was keeping an eye on him because uh, I, w I was watching his um, indie pack setup, bike setups, and he was going not that fast, especially at the start, like, I think 290 uh, was the first ride, 290 again second day, but now he's really going pretty strong, you know, and I was checking his data on Strava, he's posting his uh, YouTube channel, is Ride Adelaide, called, and... Um, yeah, so he's 11.45 in. It's pretty good for the guy who is not like the contender and stuff. I think he's quite new to ultra endurance stuff. So, I mean, he's going really good. So, probably it's a smart move not to go that hard in the start, you know. Because uh, actually, um, as the race will go on, I checked the roadhouses. There will be a lot more after, like, Adelaide. So, it's going to be a little bit easier, I believe. But still, there is going to be lots of hill climbing. So, I come in. You cannot really say for sure. So yeah, what about Cycling Maven and Rhino? So they are 920 in, uh, Rhino 928 and Cycling Maven 920. So mm, yeah, I mean, I mean it's just uh, amazing how Christoph has dropped all the other 
pretty strong guys you know it's like, like rhino is halfway behind <laughs> with the cycling maven but still huge respect to all of them and uh, yeah this is the quick update day four and sarah hammond is just killing it what a what a huge mental power i mean amazing amazing guys thank you for watching uh, also like if you have any questions let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions uh, on what would you would you, you would like to know maybe you are not able to for whatever reason check the map or stuff uh, i'm in the map progress so yeah guys thank you for watching again and uh, check me all the links down below if you are interested to contact me further maybe talk about china and stuff because actually i live in china if you know um yeah thank you